everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to go ahead and cover a fragrance that was released in the year 2011. We're talking about a fragrance from a house that I've reviewed quite a few times already. We're talking about Calvin Klein's CK1 Shop or CK1 Shop. Now this fragrance was brought to me or the attention to me by uh, a lot of subscribers. A lot of people kept mentioning, hey, you got to review this fragrance from Calvin Klein. It's such a great fragrance. Uh, they were just, they kept telling me to review it. And it's something that I kind of put off. It was on my list. It kept kept moving down. And finally, I am getting into it. I've done my testing, and I gotta say, I am disappointed that I had waited so long to actually review this scent, because I've actually started wearing this one now a little bit in my rotation, because I like this scent a lot. But why do I like it? Let's get into it. It's available in two main sizes, a 1.7 and a 3.4. There's also the big, I think it's like an 8 ounce bottle of Calvin Klein, but the 1.7 is going to run you about $42 retail, 3.4 about $52 retail. You can find this one cheaper if you search on gray market sites. Uh, so go ahead, take a round, look around. You can get it for even cheaper than that, which is a good thing on this fragrance. This fragrance is cheap, all right? Uh, and sorry, by not by cheap, I mean inexpensive, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the actual notes. The notes of this fragrance, right on the screen. Um, rather than, you know, go over the notes, I'm just going to, you can read them off. You guys can pull them up yourselves as well, too. So what I get when I smell this fragrance, I get a very light I get a spicy, I get a very unique fragrance. And really the uniqueness, light, spicy, is really interesting to me. But what really brings out the uniqueness is this orangey amber smell that comes and it mixes into it. And it's just absolutely fantastic. And this fragrance goes through phases. Sometimes you start to get a little bit more of the orange. Then it moves to a little bit more of a lighthearted smell. Then, it, then the amber comes roaring out. The amber, the orange mixes it together with spices and it's just absolutely fantastic and I gotta say the ride that this fragrance kind of takes you on to me is just phenomenal I love what it does with my skin it goes and finally I after all that's kind of going up and down up and down up and down you get this tobacco smell that kind of comes in and it remains this tobacco amber orangey smell that is mm, fantastic I gotta say very unique in its application and the way that it kind of does, kind of does its thing, I gotta say I slept on this one from Calvin Klein. I have frequently bashed Calvin Klein, and this time I gotta say I have been completely wrong. Now this is a fragrance that you can I go honestly I go about three four sprays with this one. I'm a little bit liberal just because it doesn't choke people out. It's a fragrance you can wear all year round, and it's a highly versatile fragrance. Like pretty much any occasion that you can think of, date, office, casual gym if you are so inclined any pretty much occasion that you can think of you can wear this fragrance in which is absolutely fantastic um age group wise another powerhouse you can wear younger people this is such a great fragrance to actually go into not only coupling with the fact that you can find it for inexpensive cost but it's a highly versatile fragrance that is going to smell good and people are going to think you smell good this is a as far as longevity goes i got a respectable anywhere rough between five and eight hours. So if I was to point out a weak spot, it might be between that because I did get, I think like three hours at one point, but I ranged up to like 10 or 11. So that might've been just a fluke. I'm not sure what to actually make of it, but I thought I should caution you on that. Now, compliment wise, unfortunately, I did not get a compliment with this one, but I think it's more of the circumstance. I was testing it in a week where I was extremely busy and I had very little human contact, if any, though most of my contact was on the subway. And people usually don't compliment each other on the subway, at least during rush hour when it's packed. Um, that's, that's essentially what my compliment thing was. So if I'm going to go ahead and give this fragrance a rating, I give it a rating a 9 out of 10. Now this gets a 9 out of 10 for a number of reasons, but the first and foremost reason is it smells damn good. Uh, damn good, sorry. It's a freaking good smelling fragrance, and it's really inexpensive. Those are the two main factors that are automatically boosting its high rating, right? Now, compliment-wise, I'm pretty sure that this is a good compliment getter. I did not see success with it as I was uh, wearing it for those reasons that I mentioned, but I'm fairly confident that this is one of those that will rank up there in compliments. Now, why am I not giving this one a perfect rating? Just because 
while I love the fact that it changes so much, you probably should wear this one a couple times before you can get a true sense of how it's going to mix with your skin, how it's going to mix with you. I think that same thing uh, that is its strength can kind of be taken on itself and become its weakness as well too. Now, it's also of note that this is a highly versatile fragrance, like I mentioned. You can buy this one, wear it pretty much anywhere, anytime, any place that you want, and it'll do absolutely fine, which is also giving it its 9 out of 10 score. So that's pretty much where I'm leaving off, all right? So if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free, send me a note, leave me a message, do whatever you gotta do. Thank you guys, take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day.